Hello, this is Lisa Shea, and these instructions are for making an origami hanging ornament with a crane shape. You can hang all sorts of different kinds of origami, and in this case we are hanging cranes. I have many videos helping you learn how to make cranes if you don't know how to make cranes yet. So we're assuming here that you have a finished crane that you want to hang in your window or on your Christmas tree, or perhaps in trees outside as part of a party decoration. These are wind ornaments. So these are meant to move in the breeze and to sway and to dance, and they're typically made with very light paper so that they react well to breezes and to slight movements of air. So you start with some thread and a needle, a pair of scissors to cut the thread, and a pair of earring hooks. These are used to hang the origami. You don't necessarily need them, but they're nice to have. And beads, which you can get at any craft fair. I have some wooden beads here, and I have some crystal beads. So start by pulling out a length of thread. You want it to be double the length that you're going to want it to hang, because it's going to be a double length of thread for strength. So cut it at the length that you want, and you're going to thread one of your beads onto this thread. So I have a green wooden bead here, and I am going to put the thread through the center hole in the bead. And again, you can get beads in all sorts of different colors and shapes and styles. The reason you need the bead is to keep the thread from pulling right through the crane. So it's a way of making sure that the crane stays on the thread. So pull the thread down so you have the two ends together and you're going to tie a knot. I actually tie one knot and then I tie a second knot on top of the first knot to make sure that the knot stays sturdily. So we're tying a pair of knots on there. And once we've got the knots made, slide the bead down to the knot end so that the bead is sitting on top of the knot and the little free ends. Now take the other length of the thread and it's doubled over and put the doubled over end into the eye of the needle. It works well to have a sort of thick eye so that the thread can go through easily and just loop it over a little bit. Now put the needle into the hole at the bottom of the crane and aim it so it comes out the top spike of the back of the crane. So you can see the needle coming through there and give it a pull to pull the thread through and then pull the thread loose from the needle. You can see the bead at the bottom holds the crane in place and the thread at the top, you can just hook that thread loose over something, but I like to use the ornaments to give it a little more sturdy base. And you loop the thread through the little hole at the bottom of the hook. Another important reason to have the hook is otherwise the thread could just yank right through the top of the crane if you manage to pull it or tug it or something. So the hook on the other end helps to ensure that the thread doesn't come loose from the crane either through the top or through the bottom. So there's the bead at the bottom that keeps the crane on the thread and the hook at the top helps to ensure that the thread doesn't pull out through the crane. So that is one example. We'll do a white example next so that you can see how this works. So again we have a white crane. We're going to pull out a length of thread and we're going to make sure it's a double length, so it's double the final length that we're going to want for our hanging. Cut it with a pair of scissors. This time we'll use a crystal bead just to show how different kinds of beads work. So I get one of the little blue crystal beads and we're going to send the thread through the hole in the center of this bead. You can see that the crane is not attached to the bead, so the crane spins easily in all directions on top of this bead base. So again, that helps it with its dancing movement and its light, airy feel. So we get the two ends of the thread, and we're going to tie them into a pair of knots. And once we get this pair of knots tied, we're going to slide the bead down so the bead is against that knot that we formed. So there's the bead. It's up against the knot. Now we take the top end of the thread and we're going to send it through the eye of the needle. So once we've got it through there, we're going to put the needle through the bottom hole in the bottom of the crane. And we're going to aim it so it comes out the top spike. Now if you're using a heavier type of paper, this is ch more challenging because the needle might not poke through easily. So sometimes if you press it down on a table and give it a push, then that'll help the needle poke through the top. So now we're pulling the needle through and getting the thread loose from the needle. So we've got the loop of thread coming out the top of the crane, and we're going to hook on the earring hook through the little loop at the bottom of it. 
And now once again we have a crane hanging on a piece of thread. At one end is the bead and at the other end is a hook. So there's the bead holding the crane onto the thread. And you can see how it is free so that the crane can spin in all directions. It can spin and move quite easily and there's the hook in the top. So again this is great for Christmas ornaments because every time a person goes walking past they will send the ornaments into motion and you'll have a very joyous dancing tree. These are great for hanging in open windows so that as the breeze blows through the ornaments move and sway along to the movement of the wind. And these are really pretty if you have an outdoor party to hang around the edge of the patio or the deck or even around the edges of the umbrella overhead because the cranes will move and dance in the breeze. And you can use whatever colors you want to match the theme of the event. These also make great presents for people, especially when you're sending holiday cards. You can put one of these into each card because the wings fold down flat. So it means that the person can get a present from you that they can immediately use. Visit lisashea.com for more information about origami and origami ornaments. And let me know if you have any questions at all. Thank you very much for watching my video and have a wonderful day.